Oh no! Oh no! We lost a ten bar. Hey everybody! Oh goodness, that started off terrible. <laughs> I fucking lost that. Dude. We had a conspiracy theory in which we had to invoil hats, and now we have a skull, and he, he's not wearing his hat. What's his name? Rufus? Rufus. Does he look like a Rufus? That's so Rufus. Bro. I don't know. That's just off the top of my head. Maybe maybe Scully? Like Scully Skullenberger? No, but that's Scully from X-Files. Oh, fuck yes, with a K. Scully and... Like if, I'm gonna get black mold in here, and I'll we'll have black molder and Scully. <laughs> How about Fuck. we'll call it the check files? <laughs> check. The files of check mark. The checks files instead of X files. Oh, that's oh so fuck! Good. We just started a whole well, look. We oh, just walked dude, into this. So good. We walked in with no content, and we just created a whole new show. <laughs> Scully and Black Molder oh, on the checks God, files. That's so good, dude. Starting Mister Chicks Marks. That's so good. <laughs> Fuck. Well, welcome, everybody. Chilu. I believe we're on episode... Fuck it. Cinco, seis, cuatro, siete, nueve? Who knows, dude? Five. Uh, yeah. Five spelled with a fump. It's there fin. are so many to choose actually. from. I choose the fifth. It's actually fin. One, two, three, and if you plead it, if you plead it, we're not even going to talk. We're yeah. not, there's no podcast if you, you choose plead the it. fifth. Is there a plead the fifth podcast where like, so when did you get into this? I plead the fifth. What are your interests? Fifth. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, about fifth. Plead the fifth while drinking a fifth. Uh, yes. And see how long you can plead the fifth until you get drunk to the point you start telling the truth. Like, yeah, I fucking hit that asshole. He's a fucking dickhead. You know? Sure. Plead the fifth, drink a fifth. That sounds good. <laughs> sounds like a Christopher kind of. <laughs> it sounds like a Tuesday. It sounds like a tequila day. How's it going? All right. Well, welcome to your Googles. Chilly We're here. You. Two, double O. Double G. Good afternoon. We did this. Good day. Good We've morning. got new symbols that are gang symbols, uh, apparently. The scissoring. Oh, yeah. Scissoring. Scissoring is way more fun. Scissor me. Scissor me. Did you ever, not to get too specific, has anyone ever asked you to scissor? No. Someone asked me to scissor. It's a big one. Wait now. Well, I don't think she was actually that big. I was going to say he. I don't, did I say he? Was he cute? Oh, shit. Did I say he? No, you didn't. I was hoping you did. <laughs> I don't know how you scissor it, dude. You just. Ram it up from behind. You don't have to ram it. You can, but there's no scissoring. You're behind. Technically, wouldn't you scissoring behind. is like the opposite of. Wouldn't you be the rubbing? missionary and because you got to get it in there? Wouldn't you be rubbing taints? But when fat body parts get together, and you got to get you still got to get the P and the V. Yeah, scissoring apparently happens. I've never done it. I've never had it done that way, and it, I never got to the point with that girl. There was just like rubbing stuff. Were your pants on? Yeah. <laughs> so it was. Dry I never got. No, I. Yeah, I wasn't. My point was. So you were thank, 14? No, bro. I was like an adult. Adult. <laughs> bro, if you knew when I. Bro. Come on, man. Well, I just thought you, you know, maybe it was junior high or some shit. No. Like I was actually sexually active. Oh. Not, not very. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, sexually active is a very. Uh, what's that? A you were sexually term? active with another person. I I was more than allowed to have sex with whomever I wanted. Did provided, they allow you? Provided they wanted me. They wanted to see your twist their hedges. Yes. Um, if they didn't want it, then obviously I wasn't. So technically, I was very sexually active. They were not. People were not sexually active with me. Okay. This is uh, terrible. Right. This really started off. The clarification, than I though, is fantastic. <laughs> Golf clap. Uh, so we're beer googles, and we were going to talk about some shitty fucking subject. I don't, I don't no, think it's it wasn't shitty. shitty. That's, I'm not, just that's not accurate. We were making jokes because we like to drink here at beer googles, which Mosh actually tells tequila. me. Can you set this up, the drinking thing? Because I think you are right. I said shitty. That's bullshit. That's it was actually accurate. really entertaining. I just so, didn't know how much we could talk about The it. original idea was... Um, I'm dropping a growler. Hey, dude. I didn't say it. You said dropping a growler. Oh, come on, bro. Bro. Is that one count? Is that half of one? No. You know what? I'm going to give you one free pass. Okay. Oh, man. You're so nice. Go I think I should pay. Dick. So really quickly, um, again, the, the growler. Gonna... We have to. We have to talk about the growler thing. Five dollars for no, any reference by it. me. Three, but every episode, bro. Every no, dude. We're not going to do housekeeping. Somebody's coming in episode seven and like, oh, bro. God, dear, why are bro. they not talking about piss, okay. semen, and and poop? 
<laughs> Seriously, someone's coming in, right? Now we need to know. Look, five bucks for me to say a poop reference, three bucks for a semen reference, one for number one, which pee pee. I can talk about spit all I want. But anything I do, five dollar, three dollar, one dollar goes to boxerloveluv.org. And go. Save the doggies. <laughs> All the smushy faces. So the original topic was what does your alcoholic drink of choice say about you? As he has the shiny skull vodka of Dan Aykroyd shot glasses. It's delicious. It's I'm just not a vodka guy. No, but but it's Dan. It's, and it's I, I mean, I like Dan Aykroyd. You know, the dude's stripes. Not stripes. And, you know, it's also the worst uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, God. Sorry, bro. Not talking about movies, bro. Oh, we already meant to that one last time. Shit. Should we should do sequels that were worse than the other ones? You know what? It'd be a three-minute podcast back. All of them except for the ones we mentioned in the last one. Good night. Dude, it's not red. Anyway. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 no. We're good. We're still good. Because we're just going to do it on video, and I'll make it an audio file after. You're welcome. He did fucked press. up. Okay, I fucked up. Yeah, right? but is it where <laughs> everything's going to be through that? This? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. I know, but So you want me to start? No, I don't give a fuck uh, what you do. Sure, start no, it. But but, but what, do we start over? No, f- I don't fuck you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't want to start over. Okay, let's I not start over. All right. <laughs> but you want to press it? I don't give a fuck. Oh, uh, sure. I'll pre- Lee press on nails. There we go. Dickhead. Yeah, so we'll just do that. So we're seven minutes behind you. We fuck. are seven minutes. That's what sir. you get when you be drinking vodka, bro. You don't press the fucking big red. How am I? Th- oh my god! Uh, I'm really not so bad, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just sometimes forgetful. We just broke up again, bro. No, bro. But, okay, bro. The topic is: What does your alcoholic beverage of choice say about you? Yes. So, as he imbibes with the vodka of Indiana Jones, the fourth one, brought to you by Dan Aykroyd of Ghostbusters, who we've now named Scully, Scully. from the Checkmark Files. And Black Mulder. And Black, yeah. Not a Black Mulder, <laughs> as an African American, but like Black Mold. Er. Why are you petting it? I, I, I feel it's soothing me. It's my it's my therapy uh, crystal skull. <laughs> you gonna take it to the airport? <laughs> yeah, my stress this crystal is my skull. therapy bottle. <laughs> oh my god! Listen to this. It's making noises. <sighs> wow. This is really Beautiful. fucked Sorry. up. Okay, so I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Please continue. Fuck. I'm gonna drink. Some. So um, obviously there's a, t- you know if you dr- if you're if you prefer champagne, what does it say about you? You prefer martinis, cosmopolitans. Apple teenies, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, apple teenies, sour apple sucks. All that shit. You know, if you're a beer drinker, you're a wine drinker, do you gin, bourbon, tequila, whiskey, scotch? What is, if you drink one of those, for the most part, most of the time, does that say, does 80% of those people say something about that person? Yeah, does the personality match the drink they choose? That's the question. Right. And it's a really, actually, it really was good. It's just you and I drink the same thing. <laughs> so it, it's probably the shortest, it literally, well, it wouldn't be the shortest podcast in history. would be like, hi, I do too. We're pretty awesome. Bye. <laughs> like, it's pretty much how that would turn out. So we had to kind of pepper it a little bit. So um, I, I did talk, chat, chat with a few people, and uh, obviously I know someone that drinks everything. I mean, I love gin and tonics, but I don't drink them because they gave me the worst hangovers ever. And... Um, my father drank everything but scotch. So I've tried everything. I mean, Long Island iced teas. I've tried everything. He made the best margaritas ever. For all of the college buddies that came over, he made margaritas. And he made them so strong, but he was this fucked up dude where he could disguise the taste of alcohol. Oh. So because he added triple sec or orange liqueur to the right. margaritas. Sweet. Yeah, so sugar it, or some it, kind it, of... It, yeah. it, you could barely taste the tequila. So you were drinking, I'm like, ooh, ooh, this is great. And then you were fucking gone because you, he was a stud. <laughs> and tequila. And tequila is well, the juice of the yeah, gods. I mean, per, per Jim Brewer, 
to kill is like the the bouncer, right? And he's I, like, hey, everybody, it, come in. Get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out. Everybody, get the fuck out. Yes, yeah, right? so I did think uh, about that as well, the Jim Brewer skit. So look that, that up. makes me, the second I think about yeah, that. Yeah, the Jim Brewer bit is fantastic. It so. is. And I'm not a lazy-eyed fan, but that skit was hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I'm uh, not saying him. I just general. I have a general racism against. It's an ism. It's a lazy eyeism. Is that a thing? Like we're we always look stone, man. I'm like Jim Brewer. Does sure. that look do I look stone when I do that or do I just normally look stone? Yeah. I probably just am stoned. Man, huh? I I don't know, man. I don't I can't I don't think. You got nothing? No. And I, I have less than zero. Zero. And then I was thinking about okay, I'm not a big bloody Mary person because I don't really care for tomato juice. And I think some drinks are time dependent in the day as well. In general. Right. Culturally. Yeah. So, I mean, unless you unless you drink all night and then sleep all day and get up at 7 p.m. and then have a Bloody Mary to help with your <laughs> hangover. A little hair of the dog, but per se. I believe, I think you said a while ago that if you're you're going to go out, you're, there's no Bloody Mary bar at 7 p.m. Right. So It's a brunch time, ladies and gentlemen. That's a really good point. Don't ask me how I know that. Usually those Bloody Mary bars are, you know, at uh, Sunday mornings. Yes. Uh, along with the Eggs Benedict. And, Something with the word hash or egg yes. or up or sunny or dose in the, in the title of yes. the restaurant. or flat First, <laughs> All that shit. <laughs> top of the morning to you. Top, top of the muffin to you. Boom. You get any stumps? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We got uh, but that also goes to the mimosas, you know? Yes. Scott, who doesn't love that shit? I love mimosas all day, but there's you don't drink them all day. You just yeah. don't. Because first of all, where do you find sparkling wine anywhere and juice to go along with it? My house. Oh. My refrigerator. <laughs> all right. I haven't, we're in. I <laughs> haven't had one in a while, but there's yeah. two bottles in my fridge, and I think this weekend it's going to happen. It's mimosa weekend. I think it's going to happen. Mimosa Monday. Hell yeah, dude. Memorial Mimosa Monday. Yeah, why not? On a Tuesday. F- fuck yeah. But you don't even know what day it is, people. Who gives a shit? Like you know. Yeah, the quarantine has <laughs> messed up all of our dates. Excuse oh, me, of the it's week. fucking, it's eight. That's what day, it's eight day. I don't day even eight. fucking know what eight day is. But it's, it's day that's eight. What it is. Oh, it's day eight. I got nothing. I don't know, dude. 28 days later. Sure. Um, I never saw that one. Sure. I just, did you just shore my shore? I sure you I don't sure. fucking do fuck. So yeah, so your drink says stuff about you, and we and to your point, like Bloody Marys, I don't, I've not seen, I've seen one up to the afternoon, probably two ish, three ish, yeah, still refreshing a little bit, but like evening time, you're not generally drinking a Bloody Mary. I do love the guys on the golf course that show up at seven a.m. for a seven thirty round, and they get a fucking double Bloody Mary at the at the clubhouse, and they yeah, come, I love that, and they come out to the golf cart with their, you know, their third, they're not thirty two, like twenty four ounce. Styrofoam cup and you and this got it. You could see the olive on it and shit. I fucking love that shit. I'm yeah. not a bloody. I don't like the tomato juice, but I fucking love that. When a couple guys come out, I'm just like, yeah, good job, y'all. Do you, I love that shit. Do you know what a Bloody Mary says about you? I do not. That you're a fucking alcoholic because you're drinking one every morning to get rid of the fucking alcohol you drank the night before. It's got to um, be right. It's got to be what a fuck <laughs> a Bloody Mary drinker is trying to eliminate all the fucking memories from the evening before. Well. With yes. One, with one swift vitamin C kick. Or, or whatever, are they you want to get a little buzz on the golf the, course? Yeah. I mean, what's disguise? What more disguises their alcoholism? It's like, it's tomato juice. Well, yeah. And, you know, you, I don't, yes. I mean, they don't do gin and prune juices, do they? That's gross. The prune yeah. juice shouldn't even be a thing, dude. I heard it's an ingredient in Dr. Pepper. Shh. <laughs> I've heard that. What are the 23 you know, flavors? Look, I'm going to try I'm going to see three words and I'm going to pick the middle one and try to read what what that says as you're but that's speaking. That's diet, more. right? This one's diet, but I would think the flavor palette's in there, but I feel old now cuz I feel like I almost need bifocals. Do you have bifocals? I have trifocals, bro. Bro, I think I'm ready for bifocals. Yeah. I talk Broke down it. last year, dude. Did you really? Yeah. Fuck that. Well, if you can't read, I'm yeah. well, I, and I knew it was coming. You know when you turn 40 it's coming, dude. I'm not yeah. Would you like me to read that for you, old guy? 
it's not on there, but go ahead. It's chemicals. <laughs> so anyway, so we were, we were going to go, what does this drink chemical, say about you? Chemical, water, chemical, a lot of different ones. color, Do we want to talk chemical, about? Chemical, okay. phosphoric chemical, <laughs> natural and chemical flavors, I think sodium we're on the chemical, wrong. preserved chemical, <laughs> caffeine. We're on, wrong, we're on the wrong. Holy shit, that's like 68 syllables. So we're on the wrong, we're on the wrong podcast. Chemicals. <laughs> Carcinogens well, not on the chemical contains podcast. other carcinogens also produced under the podcast. authority of Dr. Carcinogen 7 Up Company. Just so you know, Plano, Texas. I watched an episode, or not an episode, almost a full series of Married at First Sight. Why are we talking about that shit? Real quick. No. Oh, God. One of the seven dollars pay up. One of the therapists was named Doctor Pepper. That's all I had to. No, I wasn't okay, going to talk dude. about the story. If you're, no, change your name, man. They're like Doctor Pepper, and like, are you fucking kidding me? That's exactly what I did too. Can't, you can't, Medi- why? Oh, is this a meditation podcast? No. Breathe. <sighs> okay, we should so. not be allowed to talk about any reality TV, bro. That's not reality TV. No TV is reality TV. The only reality TV are sports. Because they are not scripted. You don't know what's going to fucking happen. And it all happens live. As mu- as live as it can be. Minus dumps. Yeah, that's true. Minus what? Let that sink in. Dumps. Like if you curse. They said stumps. No, dumps. Like, minus uh, stumps. Like, like, like fucking Christ. Boop. They dump that. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just I, that'd be awesome really if loudly. They said fucking Christ. I know, but they do in UFCs every once in a while. The one without an audience is great because there's a lot of cursing going on and as they talk to each other. But. That's neither here nor there. But isn't, does that blow your mind that sports are the only true reality show? It does not blow my mind because it's, I've never thought about it before because I don't give a shit, but you're actually, that's totally accurate. Yeah. You want a real emotion? It's not scripted. You don't know. They're not like, hey, let this guy get a hit off of you to, to add drama to the fucking show. Oh, right. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like you're that right. is it's true com- reality television. You're, you're right. It's completely unscripted. You're absolutely, absolutely right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, find me a true reality show. And even then, let's talk about it a little bit. Documentaries. Same fucking thing. Most documentaries. I'm not saying that they all do because we talked about one on our other podcast. Yes, sir. So I, I sort of want to poo-poo documentaries because I believe the search for truth I'm is- sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> fuck i will allow Dude, it no i, I will what, allow I'm, it i'm uh-huh. i owe five bucks no, no i fucked no. up twice i'll allow it look it is a different okay well anyway you didn't say shit in a uh, cup so i will allow it i didn't say two girls are <laughs> <cup. laughs> it's a trap <laughs> it's a horrible trap no uh so t- <laughs> okay so i don't want to poop with documentaries but generally documentaries have I, in my an opinion, agenda? agenda is the right way to say it in a in a, the most negative possible way. But I believe that most documentary makers have an ant. They're going to they have an answer before they look. Okay. So the agenda is the correct term for that. I just feel like agenda is such a ugly term. It's like almost like a, even if they don't know they have the agenda, they have it right. Like let's be I, honest. I'm not going to talk pop uh, in any positive way about Michael Moore. Other okay. than he had one good scene in America in Canadian Bacon, just one, and it's a very short scene. So you think documentaries all have an unconscious bias? Correct, because what is what was Michael Moore trying to tell you that guns are bad and food, whatever is bad, right? Or or other people, right? Or good or bad, or they have an idea. Like the guy goes in, did that guy act alone? He's already going in thinking he didn't, so he's definitely going to lean towards all the evidence that points towards him not acting. And he if he finds evidence that he the, uh, to the opposite, he won't even show it? I don't know that, but wouldn't that make your cutting floor more than compelling evidence if you had to cut it, trim it for time? What do you think Michael Moore's favorite drink says about him? Dick. <laughs> he drinks I think dick? he drinks... I can't... You can't... <sighs> Dude, that was awesome. That was- Wow. That was fucking fantastic. You fucking tra- that was entrapment. It was not entrapment because I just said dick and you I went. Entra- I said dick actually. And then I was I like. I said dick and. Didn't say the other one. That was great. That was really good. Yes, really well done. That was fucking uh, great. Well done, sir. Dude, that was so off. good. Dude, there's so many dogs that are going to be so happy in their new homes. Like, we like, I didn't say it, bro. I didn't say it. I know, but I'm like, I'm going to keep almost. trapping you. I know, you're, you've got me. There's no such thing as entrapment. So We never talked about entrapment rules. Go ahead. No, we didn't. And you were open to entrapment. That's how I caught myself. 
Um, but the truth is, I find very biased when, like, I'm not, okay, once again, not saying global warming doesn't exist, not saying, I don't, I hate fucking disclaimers about everything, because everything's fucking perceived with a disclaimer, well, but Al Gore goes, is the environment, is it getting warmer? Global warming, bad bear pig. <laughs> so, so he's like, I'm Al Gore, I, I, I created the internet, it's a dad. Where is he from? Tennessee, I believe. So he's a jack drinker. He's a motherfucker who couldn't even. Fuck, well, I'll tell you one thing: he couldn't even carry I'll his tell own. You what? Carry, couldn't even carry his own state electorally. So electorally, and he would have won a goddamn thing if he woulda. So I'm just saying, not saying, just saying. Everybody can shut up about hanging chads and shit. Is he a senator? He's vice president, sir. No, what was he? Be- I know that. What was he before that? Probably boring. Probably. Boring as fuck. Okay. Yeah, um, I believe he was. Senator anyway, I'm sort. sorry. Global he was some warming. kind of political thing because Tipper was all about the anti. I know the anti t- the fucking right, the, the guy pl- public advisor. That was mid '80s, right? Mid anti twisted yeah. sister. Yeah, yeah, of course. Remember that. What do you want to do with your life? I want to rock. I want to rock. Okay, so what were we talking about again? Al Gore's favorite drink. Okay. Al Gore. Boring. Um, I bet you he likes water. I don't know how long I can hold that pose before a I long time six minutes okay how, what do you think he drinks I would say sparkling white wine wine <laughs> spritzers I'll, I'll take a white claw no he'll t- no <laughs> w- white wine spritzer with a twist I swear Zima is creating global warming <laughs> so I'm gonna have five of them um, anyway, so you have an agenda. I think he probably did drink some Zimas. <laughs> I, oh, he totally got it. That's Zima. a great podcast. He needed a Zima to get in Each that. president and what do they drink? Oh, that'd be a good one. You're welcome. That'd be fun. Then oh. we can correlate it to how what fucked up they were. Did you know what Donald Trump drink? takes handfuls of? Pussy? I allegedly. Oh. Let me say allegedly Sudafed or something. <laughs> have you not heard this? Yes, I have. You told me. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. I love my taco salad. Just look a little so closer at that did... picture. A little Instagram post he put a couple years ago. Uh, it's totally fine by me. Because the other guy can't fucking remember his name. He's been chewing on aluminum his whole life. I'm fucking... Aluminum? <laughs> Better put your hat on. Right. Bro. Right, bro. Maybe he didn't wear it enough. Maybe he wore it on the inside, not on the outside. That was the problem. So what's Bill Clinton's drink? I think he liked low-end skis. <laughs> It's kind of like Which, line and kugels, but kugels. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beer? Let me be clear. Okay. What do Obama you mean? Mama hit the hard liquor. Okay. So And Michelle, occasionally. Well. Okay. I'm just kidding, everyone. It's a fucking joke. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so. There's no proof. Actually. Line and kugels. Lewinsky kugels. I mean. Lewinsky's Lewinsky's is a beer? Maybe. I know what he smoked. Yeah. Jennifer Flowers. Stogies. (laughs) I smoked Jennifer Flowers, but I did not exhale. Get it, flower. I understand. Marijuana. Get it. Cannabis. (laughs) That sounded a little more bushy. It did. It sounded like bushy, too. Strategery. Chinese. Chinese and Chinese nephew. (laughs) Nuclear. Nuclear. Where the fuck are you come from? Texas. He comes from Texas. It's nuclear. What do they drink? Realtors. What's the what? No, it's not a realtor. Just so you know, this podcast is going to be a fucking dumpster fire. It's fucking great. I know. I'm loving it. What? (laughs) But realtor is a fucking not. It's that is not real. Yeah, that word's wrong. Realtors aren't real. This takes an enormous amount of patience to be in the same room with you. Of which I'm grateful. Of which. For which I... For which I'm also grateful. So let's just, let's just bring this back full circle. Did we go anywhere? No. Let's bring this back quarter circle. Let's bring this back no circles <gasps> at all. Let's just start where we start. How much does Checkmark love vodka? Weddy. Wetty much. Wetty, wetty much. Yes. How I much? Love, I love my vodka. How much vodka? How many? What's a handle? How many? Handle. You know, as a drink was handle, big thing. Jug. Three a day. Three? Three. 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 Three handles. How day. many S's are three. in three? 
at least two. At least three. At least three. Three of them. S's in three. Three S's in three of them. <laughs> yes. And I have a handle. I drink and, and look. You see? Does this look like the drink of a non-alcoholic? My kingdom for a horse. I don't know. Does he talk to Skull like that? Of course he does. I I forget Horatio. I did not know him. Hims. I don't know. What? I don't even know no Shakespeare's. None. No, no Billy's. No, no Williams. I know three, three? Shakespeare's. Three? Yes, yeah, three. We spell with three S's. Okay. With, with, with this vodka. That vodka. Z well, only the necro vodka. Handle vodka in plastic. Yeah. Bottle, because cheaper. Cheaper. Um, Smirnoff? No, much more. Come, sh come shaka vodka. Do you use Smirnoff? It's not, to like that's, a, that's a real blend. I don't want to talk about come shaka vodka. I'm sure come shaka vodka very good. But no. Plastic jug is cheap. The 599 handle. Vodka. It's distilled with antifreeze. Do you have like uh, Total Wine or Bevmo in the Czech Republic? No, there, we have Preston Vodka. That is <laughs> it. Preston Vodka. So do you drink it? Ravelin. Ravelin. Do you. Sit up, Ravelin. Does Checkmark <laughs> use Valvelin vodka in his vehicle and for his face? I use Ravelin in my vehicle. And well weaned you also drink in my it. gullet, yes. Yes, okay. So it's a two for one special. Down the windpipe, yes. Okay. Oh, not windpipes. The well, other. It's yes, the this, esophagus. The esophageal tract. Yes. I'm. W would you like another drink? Are you going to drink with me? I sir? already have oh. one. I'm good. Thank Are you Are you so going much. to drink it, though? I am. Okay, let, let me pour. Let yes. me pour for a check mark, and then we, then we get back. I like when you pour for a check mark. I was like... <gasps> Oh. Like, oh, check mark has almost overboard. <laughs> check, <laughs> check mark is like two two fist bottles in between. Two fist I, bottles? I clink here. Ready? Let's clink at our own microphone here. We clink to the microphone. Okay. Clink. Salute. Un salute. Okay. And we are in, still in the same room, correct? Uh, uh No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. There you are. Uh Big toe, little toe. Look, I cut my nails. Yeah, oh, God, no, with the feet. Oh, sorry. Two dollars feet. He did not have foot fetish. Oh, no, dude. I'm not a... F no. He wanted, he wanted the big toe. Oh, okay. Ah! He said no. Check mark. You can leave now. Hey, man. What's up? What's going on? What what happened? Oh. How, long, how long was I out? Fucking four minutes, check mark. Four... F <laughs> I wasn't... Hey, man. Really? How long was I out? <laughs> oh, bro. I just channeled some guy. <laughs> Thank God I don't do channeling. That shit fucking freaks me out. By the way, you. have you ever have you ever been to a channeling? The guys are like, hey, just channel and four. Shit. <laughs> That's it. Just the news. Channel forty eight. NBC bitches. Bing bing bing. Okay, so we were talking president. I don't know how the fuck we got off on serious tangent. I like that. I mean, so I did. I love that. I think what we're do you awesome. think Nixon drank? Oh, he drank fucking every scotch. It was scotch or some kind of. So imagine, or say nineteen, probably bourbon, like Jack. He was from California. California. Mm. So imagine nineteen seventy. Nixon was in California. Yeah. So nineteen seventy one. He's in the White House. Yeah. Vietnam is fucking up his shit. Well, he's about to pull out. Or did Ford pull out? What? Who pulled out? He resigned. No, I know, but did, he, pu did he pull out, out before? Okay, so he, so Nixon was balls down. Yes. I don't, whenever I, when I associate one president with Vietnam, and I apologize. Which but one? It, it's Johnson. I, okay. Because he, it was, he was in the presidency with Kennedy when. Yes. The stuff at least warmed up. Well, yeah, he was there for many years. Right. Until 68. Obviously, and then he took over when Kennedy and was then gone. And he did not. Right. Johnson did not want to be reelected. Right. So, and then Nixon won. Right. And then he resigned for Watergate. Right. So, say 71, whatever. Right. And I think he won again in 72, but then he resigned and then Right, and then Ford, Ford came in. Yeah. Right. But Ford actually So Ford is historically credited, I don't know. But he's that's kind of a term. lame duck. Well, he is. I mean, yeah. he's nobody. Right. He wasn't he was. He didn't stand a fucking. Chance. After that, the Republicans were fucking toast for years. It took fuck. It took a fucking it hijack took, situation. It took Jimmy Carter to fuck it up. Well, but, well, yeah, but it also took that fucking that hostage situation. May have been a conspiracy in itself. By the way, just FYI, I don't write it down. 
So imagine 71, Nixon's yeah. in the White House, Watergate's developing. I'm not a crook. Yeah. And then you the, sons of bitches. Water, Watergate, Sorry. you know, the ta- he's recording every conversation. He's talking yeah. to McNamara about the war and, you know, oh, do we increase bombing? There's all these protests. The Kent State shooting with yeah. the National Guard. He was, he was in seat. Seated president at that time? I don't know, but imagine... I'm just curious. The, um, but, but my point is the the, the nature one, the of the country during those years. Yeah. You know, the hippies. And the, the volatility. Weed, and and, and the, they, the, the American people hated the government. Yeah. Well, they don't... They hated the government after... Vietnam did not help them like the government. Watergate just made everyone question they, anything that the government correct. did at that point. That exposed just how... Cor- I don't know if corrupt's the right word, but how much we don't know or how much. Of is course. Hidden. So I the question is, was. what was Nixon drinking during this time? When he's sitting in the White House at 730 at night, and he's going, he's alone, been a fucking 12, 13 hour day. His what's he drinking? Tears? His own tears <laughs> in a glass with ice. Tears of uh, distraught sorrow. I am still not a crook. My father used to call him Tricky Dick. That was his name. There you go. Tricky Dick. He's like, oh my God. Oh my, did you just play a trick with that dick? <laughs> I made it disappear. So was he drinking Sorry. a beer? Was he drinking he beer, Was he drinking scotch straight? Was he doing shots of tequila? He probably wasn't doing... And the guy was... <laughs> shots of he tequila. wasn't doing shots of tequila. I don't think. Grab me another... I need some more limes and salt. Yeah. More. <laughs> you know. Oh, but limes, not limes, sir. Oh, well, oh, oh sorry, I heard limes. Still not a crook. Yeah. Okay. Limes, like, you know. Yeah. Suck, lick, lick, slam, suck. Hello? I understand. Are you paying attention? Do you, son? Look, dick. Son? No. Do you know where you are right now? I You're do not. You're in 1971. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, I drink the hard stuff. I pick a big fucking can- decanter of fucking scotch and I pour it around to kiss and... This bitch and that bastard, we did sit around and drink. And Henry Kissinger would be like, I like this very much. I am the Henry Kissinger. Is that also uh, when the FBI (laughs) director was wearing women's clothes? That was Hoover. When was that? I think that was earlier, but it could have been. Bush was in the CIA before he ran for vice president. Bush won. Yeah. Caesar. Senior. The, the, won, yeah, yeah, the old won. Bush. Yeah. Bush won and then lost. And then Bush 2 won, won. Won and then won. I, I, what do you think the Bushes drank? Dude, Bush Bush Dubs was a fucking Zima He's a fucking Zima <laughs> no, but I drinker. Thought, I thought Al Gore would like the Zimas. He did. Do you think, I, think you No, know, he's Jr. a wine spritzer. I'm t- I agree with you. I think it's a wine spritzer for you him. Do you think Bush Jr. was a wine spritzer? Light beer. Like Miller Lite, didn't he get DUIs and shit? Or did he oh not? yeah, did he? Yeah. Do you know what? He, do you know what he was drinking? I just made it up. I have no idea. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I'm like lawsuit, 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 lawsuit. I'm just counting up all the times we're gonna get sued for making up bullshit. for fucking being stupid for beer googles, two O's, two G's. Yes. What do you think? What do you think Putin drinks besides like the tears of children and like blood of angry capitalists and vodka? <laughs> <laughs> and fish tacos. <laughs> a lot of lot of vodka. Anyway, so Nixon, what do you think Nixon I drinks? Think, Why don't you tell me? I think Putin drinks... No, let's go back to Nixon wait, first. Okay. He drinks Whoa. the blood of his enemies out of their skulls. That's a beautiful thing. You're welcome. Dan Aykroyd. Then, yeah. then Dan Aykroyd crystallizes it, clears up the blood, and then you drink it. Sure. So you or you just filter out Putin's urine. I didn't make a joke. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even hear it. I, didn't, I, was, I, didn't make a, I was already thinking about your next question, so I didn't. No, no. Nixon, joke. What, what's Nixon joke drinking? Uh, yeah. Drink, um, drink. I'm thinking bourbons, yeah. whiskey, or scotch. Yeah. That's me. A neat. I don't think. Yeah, straight up. I think right in the bottom. Maybe I, like. Mad Men style. Maybe one or two ice cubes. No. Maybe. It's got, I mean, I think it's just whatever the temperature of the Oval Office is when he's fucking slamming those. And cars. I think he's a heavy pour. Are they like, in there? Are th- is is there alcohol like oh, yeah. out? I know, but is alcohol oh. like out and present? Like when you walk in the Oval Office, do you see like a bar, like a wet bar? I do you know what I'm I, saying? Like a well, the three times that I went there, no, three. I times. don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> Fuck, 
serious? How they never? What am I, Forrest Gump? So oh. I went to the White House. I went, oh, again. I <laughs> Fifteen Doctor Peppers. <laughs> I had to pee. I had to pee. So I had to go buy fro. Oh my god! I got fifteen Jedi. Jedi. Talk Jedi's. Jedi, I may not be a small man, but I do know what love is. You're on point today with those fucking accents, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm dead, bro. On. Dead on. Dead on to me. <laughs> Channeling. Apparently. Would you like to see would you like to see a different uh, impression of Tom Hanks? Sure. <coughs> <laughs> oh, could you do Rita? Fuck, that was so bad. Oh, man. What happened, what happened to self-police? Oh, what, my God. What's sad is, like, you knew exactly where I went. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all this the... Per- the so, you- so, by the way, this has by far been the best podcast without any oh, thought process. So, bullshit. we need to never no, plan this okay, shit. So, anyway, what do you think, oh what do you think Obama drank? I believe Obama drank beer. I believe he drank Heineken and Kovacier. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I think he just drank beer. I, I think he was a beer drinker. What do you think? I could see him, like, having a glass of red wine. Yeah. I think with dinner. But I think, like, I feel like social, his social nature would be, like, throwing a I really switch. don't know, man. That's, I don't, I have no idea. I guess the question is really this is what is your liquid to inebriation ratio that you're willing to go with? Uh, You want to rephrase? I don't understand your question. Are you willing to drink 60 ounces, five bottles of beer to get the same drunk that two or four ounces of another drink would get? Would I have to go to the bathroom a million times? Great question, man. If I were, I mean, you pre- think presidents? Are you, are you talking about a presidential question? Fuck or? yeah, it's a presidential question. I'm not willing Sorry. to do that, but I'm not the president. Well, this is the question, and not to get. I'm not going to talk about the thing, but going to the bathroom a lot. That's got. That's a time waster. It is. You're a fucking. You're you're the poster child of the free world, and you're fucking busy shaking twice because you every three have- minutes because you drink beer. I don't think so. I think you go hard, right? You have to go hard to the paint. I agree. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question that. Personally, I would want to be as numb as possible with the least bladder filling. <laughs> this is the worst line of questioning I've ever heard. I thought it's pretty ingenious, don't you? No, I save time. What do you? Th- so wine. Okay, drink wine with dinner. But what's what's his walking around drink? He's at a cocktail party. You think he's holding a fucking bottle of wine? I can see champagne. I could I see, see a, a glass of wine. Glass of wine and a. At a charity event for Michelle's poodle? Yeah, for her doggy. Know, does she have dog? Does she yeah, have boxerlove.org. Do they have dogs? I fucking know. Okay. Oh. Didn't they have that black fucking poodle fucking bro. furry thing? Bro, I blacked out for eight years. Eight <laughs> years. It, just ha- it wasn't all, all of Obama. Let me just be clear. There was know. other presidents. Yeah, it was like, there was like a little light, late, late dubs. I think, you know, it's probably 10 years. Like late dubs and early Trump. I don't remember. So it was some hard napping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think I was drinking. Oh. A lot. What were you drinking? Well, I drink scotch. Bro. But what does that say about you? It says that I fucking know what I want and I'm awesome and powerful just like you. Okay. And do you drink it straight? I do. I mean, do you, I mean that's a dumb question. Two fingers. Well, I, I don't drink it homosexually if you're asking that. Do you drink <laughs> I'm I not asking it, that. Look, I drink it extremely heterosexually, except for sometimes did, I lift the pinky. Did the scotch? That's not that's not a homosexual thing. That is just a general thing. I sometimes I I have to tea and crimp it. Did the scotch ask you to scissor it? <laughs> scissor it just, just a little, little bit. bit. So, <laughs> my friend. So the did whole. the you just know you just neat. You drink scotch neat. Yeah, scotch in a glass. Okay, and it's. My favorite, are we, should we talk brands? If we're Fuck just, yeah. If I know anywhere, if I go anywhere and they have it, Oban 14. 
it's available at Costco, fifty nine ninety nine a bottle. It's not that much. Okay. I don't drink a lot, so it lasts me a long time. But it's phenomenally flavorful. You and I actually went to a cigar bar, and I got Oban 18-year and liked the 14 better. Wow. And paid, like, way fucking more for the 18-year. And I would never do that again, just FYI. Okay. But that's my drink. What's your drink? Uh, You want to hear my scotch story? I would... You, you have a scotch story? Story time! Oh, story time. Hold on, everybody. Yay me! It's story time. So I'm a, I'm an avid fan of the band Rush, and uh, they're my f- fourth favorite, fifth favorite band. I know you don't like them. Fuck no, off. no, I think it's funny. Real quick, I think it's funny Like oh, you said the band Rush, because if you said I was a fan of Rush, I'd be like, the movie? The band? Like, I, I had oh, options, but you... Didn't even give me leeway. Thank you for I'm that. trying to give you no fucking leeway, you <laughs> fucking like, prick. No fucking tangents. Motherfucker. Yeah, no tangents. So, uh, the drummer, may he rest in peace, just passed away Neil in January. Bert. Yeah. Um, he is also a rider, motorcycle rider, backpacker, hiker. So, I, I think that I relate to him in a lot of ways because we have a lot of the same interests, music, etc. So... He's written, I think, eight books, and I've read all of them. And three of his books were about motorcycle riding. Like, he wrote across... Wow, really? He wrote like, a, safety or just stories? No, like, his... His anecdotes. His and, journey... Okay. His first book was, right. in 98, his wife... His daughter was killed in a car accident at 18. Then his wife died 10 months later from some cancer. So he went... He took his motorcycle, and he rode across Canada, through America... U.S. and then through Mexico into Belize, he rode fifty-five thousand miles in two years, and he wrote all about his journey and about like his emotional road to recovery. So the point of this bullshit, sorry, is on his motorcycle, he had you know he had clothes and he had he had these saddlebags and he had all his shit right enough to survive for like three four days, and he would do laundry and he so he would take it write a journal every single day about who he saw, what he did. No one ever recognized him. No one, no one knew he was a millionaire. No one right. knew he was the best drummer in the world. No one. But he had a bottle of McKellen scotch. He had a clear bottle, plastic, that he would fill up. And every night he'd have one McKellen when he got to... He would find shitty little motels, right. little campsites, little tiny backwoods yeah. places. And I'm like, I'm a bourbon whiskey guy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I was reading all these books by Neil Peart. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to try this scotch, right? So I go to BevMo or Total Wine and I buy the $35 McKellen. I think it was 12 year. Yeah, it's usually a 12 year, yeah. I'm guessing. That's a good one, yep. I fucking open that shit up and I'm like. <coughs> First time ever trying scotch? Yep. That's why. Yeah. Ladies Horrible. and gentlemen. Horrible. The term acquired taste is true in a few things. So gave that bottle away four <sighs> seconds later. You didn't give it to me, bro. Guy, I was drinking scotch at that time. This was... Uh, oh, wait, 88, you said? No, this was... Um, <laughs> he died 98. Okay. I'm sorry. No. His wife died 98. The okay. book came out in... 01, probably. Okay, and so I, I read it in... I read it in, like, 2012. And then I was, I was at a party with, like... At that point, bro. I was, like... I was at a party with, like, 12 people. Right. Halloween party. And, uh... Dressed like Marilyn Monroe with big fake boobs and a blonde wig. You were? Yeah. <gasps> and it was fantastic. Harry chest, Happy big birthday, fake boobs. Mr. President. Mr. President. What do you think Kennedy drank? So I. Uh, Marilyn's everything. <laughs> that is correct. You're the big winner. <laughs> so I. That, we're done after that one. That I was, was like, I gave good. the bottle to a gentleman that was there because he was a Scott drinker. Right, I was like, so. dude, you can have that shit. And then when did you rediscover it? Never, ever. Oh, so the real Scotch. My Scotch story is Sorry. I gave the bottle away. Scottish whiskey versus Irish whiskey versus American. This was a bottle right. of Scotch. Right. This is a bottle of Scotch. So it's I Scottish. drink American bourbon and Correct. American whiskey. Correct. That's my that, That's all I'm saying is because it's Scotch is short for Scottish whiskey. Yes, sir. Correct. We, it's weird because you don't call it Irish you call it Irish whiskey. Jam- you call it, yeah, you say the whole right. thing. You don't say, yes. Irish, give me a bottle of Irish, right. but it's a bottle of scotch. It's a weird, it's it one is, of the weird yes. ones. Cause it's very strange. If you say, give me whiskey, it's, they, bartender needs to know a little bit where you're going. Well, they, they assume you mean Tennessee whiskey. Jack Daniel. Yeah. Do they assume Tennessee whiskey when yes, you say whiskey? Absolutely. 
I didn't know that. Yes, I, absolutely. I go in. I go in asking specifically because I like specific things. So that's that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I guess because because Maker's Mark is bourbon. Yes, and there's other bourbon. Jim Tons Beam. Of other bourbon. Jim Beam is bourbon. Yes, no, bourbon. Yes, but Jack is whiskey. Yes. What else is whiskey? There's in tons America? of them. I know. But I mean, what's like a what would be the Evan second Williams. American whiskey? Evan Williams. I don't know that one. Maybe that's bourbon. But I don't know. That's that like either. the next. That's like the fourth most popular. Uh, what Jack, would be the one? Jim. Jack, okay, but that's Maker's different. Mark. But bourbon and whiskey Evan, are different. They're the, I, they're basically the same. Right. I'm just saying that they're called very different things. So you don't call Jack Daniels bourbon, and no. you don't call Jim Beam whiskey. You just don't. Well, technically, it's oh, it's, yeah, Johnny Walker is the, but it's a Scotch. It's a Scotch, but it's a, is it's well, no, they're they're in Scotland, right? I America, believe so. Or is it American? No, I believe that's company. European. I I'm don't sorry, know. everybody. I'm an idiot because I don't drink. You can black look up Johnny Walker anything. if you want. I could. Yeah, I don't care for either because I believe it is Scotch. Okay, but some uh, blue label, it black label. Scotch. Yeah, it's people blended. love that shit. It's blended Scotch, which yeah. is like Dewar's and all that shit. Yes, right. I believe that's all Scotch. If you're interested, I can get you to like Scotch. It just takes a little longer time. You have to be really patient. Uh, no. Okay. Perfect. I love bourbon so much that I'm a super happy guy. <laughs> Highest of high fives. I wow. broke your knuckle. I think I broke my finger. My fingers. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, that hurts. Okay. What do you think Einstein drank? Probably nothing. I don't think he drank alcohol. The theory of relativity and mein Beck's beer. Do you not think he drank Beck's beer? <laughs> Why does he sound like this? Well, because he, he sounds German. He sounds like a high pitch fucking Nazi is what he sounds like in that. Like I don't think guy. he drank or, anything because he was too worried about astrophysics and shit. Uh, that's the that's the kind of physics you just don't want anything. I'd rather be interested in like Elroy physics or even Rosie physics. Yeah, maybe George physics. All of those. Jane, Jane physics. What about the Flintstone physics? Yeah, that's a different Flint. That's a different physics. That's Fred and Barney physics. Yeah. I'm talking about George and Rosie. What about Wilma? I'm talking. <laughs> Did I cross particle streams? <laughs> you did. You crossed Hanna Barbera particle streams. Is that even possible? I just did. It's so funny that the Muy past. Possible. It is funny though that the past and present both do not contain black people. It is really fucking interesting. That's what? Oh, in Cartoon Land. Mm, yeah, in that respect, yeah. Except for I think there's one black guy in Jessens. Flintstones. Hey, George. Eat the Flintstones. We easy. <laughs> That's the Jeffersons, dude. That's not the Flintstones. Or the Jetsons. No. The Jeffersons. Whoa. That's many particle streams. Ooh, no, no. Um, yeah, that was bad. But yeah, I'm glad you got the Jetson reference after Elroy, Rosie, I, Yeah, and that's why I went to the Judy? Flint. I understood. Epop or When you said Elroy, I'm like, yeah. I got it. His boy, Elroy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... He doesn't drink anything. Einstein drinks. I, I don't think. I think he was too focused on his work. I think he lactates the wives of other physicists. Whoa. That's deep. <laughs> and horrible. For no reason. Like, he just did that. I think I was just a fetish. Okay. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hashtag probably not true. Probably. I'm going to guess not Definitely at all disgusting true. and not true. It's a different body fluid, bro. I got away with it. Bro. Sorry. You don't have I to got, apologize. I got work. I got work around in your boxer love, bro. <laughs> so we started talking about drink and what your drink says about you. Yeah. And you drink bourbon whiskey of some kind, American, whatever. Yeah. Bourbon, that, yeah. That, that, that flavor about. What does that say about you? Uh, I don't know. You, do you not know what it I says? like the taste. And okay. I agree with you completely that I'd much rather have a, two bourbons than f four or five beers. 42 beers, yeah. I'd much rather, and I enjoy, to me, I, I like the taste, but I like the process. I like sipping it. I like the just the relaxation of, I have one drink and it lasts me 45 minutes or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And it's just, a, it's a, I'm watching a show or reading a book or sitting outside with a cigar or whatever. And it's just, I like the, the slow, you sip it, you chill out. I like that versus a beer where it's, if you don't drink it within 10 minutes, it's fucking warm. Yeah. And I can't stand warm beer. Yeah. I remember you, when we go out, 
you even buy smaller drinks because you like them cold. Yeah. And I, they I, rip you the fuck off with that. And I, in spite of that, no, no, I'm, I know I'm crediting you yeah. for you. You stick to what you stick to, man. I, I admire people of conviction, man. Well, thank you. I do because that's a very hard thing. I'm like, all I see is dollar signs going out the window. Cause my, I don't drink. I don't just don't drink. I mean, I smoke now, which is a problem or take edibles or do something else. But, but I, I love those at Applebee's, those 23 ounce beers. Oh yeah. You know, they're fucking great. But dude, you get blown. Yeah, two of those, and I'm like, I don't want. I'm not hungry. Oh. I feel like shit. You I'm feel like, like shit because got those that fucking. You're all gurgly, shit. oogly uh, boogly, like and gassy. So maybe potentially gassy. Yeah, I, I'd much rather. You know, I'd rather I'll have one of those, and then I'm like, uh, I'm good. That's why I'd prefer a little pint. And then calories. Know? They talk about like calories. Is one is like vodka drinkers are watching their calories because they're getting the most bang for their buck. I didn't think about calories. Low calories, like 90 calories for whatever an well, ounce technically or isn't any shot with the same amount of proof. You know, vodka, tequila, Very rum, close, gym is all like 80 proof, right? Yeah, proof wouldn't is that, percentage alcohol. Right, though, but wouldn't those all value. be the same amount of calories? No. Because of the sugar content? I would think because rum is distilled from sugar. So a rum 80 proof, I would guess. Okay. We're, we're going to have to vet. We're I don't want to vet shit. Fuck vetting. I want a core. Okay. Vet. Oh, you know. You know. You seen the new ones? 2020? Mid-engine. Fucking sick. Dude. What's funny is it's actually not that powered, yet the 0 to 60 is fucking under three seconds. It's it's, fuck. it's, a fat, it's the quickest fucking thing, but it doesn't have the most horsepower it's of all the... fucking I know. gorgeous, too. Yeah. I saw one on the freeway. I'm going to win one. Dream, dream car giveaway, bro. I'm excited car, for your dream car giveaway. Dream, I'm excited I'm going to win this, that and a 61 vet. Okay. Side by side. I'm excited for and I'm going to drive my fucking drive Miss Daisy off a fucking cliff at that point. <laughs> but I finally got it running. It's so nice now. We'll talk about that another Ooh, time. Tangent. Yeah, that was total fucking. So crazy. I don't know what the fact that I like bourbon says about me, but what's what's ironic about it is that I'm going to look that up while you talk a little bit more. Okay, you talk me into it. So what's ironic about that is mini story time is that uh, I never drank bourbon or whiskey, and then when I moved to Nashville and I was only there for less than a year. That's when I started drinking whiskey. I'm like, well, shit, I'm here. Let me try some Jack Daniels. And that's <laughs> and then I like shit. I loved it. Jack yeah. and Coke, Jack and ginger ale, Jack and this. Then I started trying. Then I tried Gentleman Jack, and I'm like, oh fuck. And then you went to rehab. And then rehab was fantastic. <laughs> so A. <Double> uh uh. <laughs> MCO. <laughs> so it's uh, it's just it's funny that it took me to move to Tennessee to even discover it. Like, you know, obviously you can go anywhere and get any drink you want, but I'm like, well, shit, uh, I'm here. Um, maybe I should try it. And now that's what I, I know. I, I've been, obviously I haven't lived there in 13 years or something. It's been a long fucking time, my friend. So it's just funny that, uh, it took me to move there to, to, and move back to like it, you know, it is or even odd. try it. But also, it took a fucking dickwad, Tennessee dickwad, to fucking be like, hey, hey, partner, you not had whiskey yet? How could you not have whiskey? We're Jack, Jack Daniels here, Tennessee. Y'all had us Tennessee stuff. That's that tribalism motherfucker made you drink. But guess what? Mm. That's where tribalism turned out okay. Because you loved it. No, it wasn't. I, I know, was more about around, the, my mentality of when in Rome. That's you, how. No, that's, that's how your mentality. I'm talking about how they got it yeah, to you. Yeah, of course. Right? Like, I, I understand. That's what I'm saying is like, back home. Beer, the beer we drink is called Yingling Lager. Yes. It's only available yeah. in like 10 states. I've had or so. it, yeah. It used to only be available in just Pennsylvania and then like three states and it slowly grew. Yeah. But it's like, it's all Pennsylvania, right? So when you go into a bar, you go up and you walk and you say lager and they will give you a Yingling Lager. There, there's not a Bud Light Lager. They're not going to give you Bud Light or anything. They give you a Yingling Lager. May I share a story about that real no. quick? No. Because it's fucking awesome. Because that kind of reminds me of that, right? It's like, yeah. if, you're in, if you're local... Boom. Drink what they have, right? Right. So, uh, my girlfriend and I are taking a trip to Philadelphia. And we go to the uh, the bar that Patty's Bar is kind of uh, named after. Okay. From It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh -huh. Everyone knows that show. So, we go in there. And the whole time I'm trying to tell my girlfriend about water versus water versus lager and how you, do, how you order different drinks. <laughs> so, we go to... A restaurant first, and we order a bucket of lagers. Th five of them. Okay. We think they're 12 ounces. They're 16 ounces. 
So we're we're already behind the power curve, my friend. We have to finish them. We have to. So then we go to Patty's Pub, and we get a lager, and then I I'm talking uh, with everyone around there, and they're like, "Hey, you want to?" I'm like, "Yeah, I have water." I said water because. Everyone else says water. No one says water. What is she fucking pouring me, bro? A, a lager. <laughs> I look at her. I'm like, I order water, right? She says, yeah. I go, you see? That's why we say water. 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 W-O-O-D-E-R. Water. It's not W-O-O-T-E-R? No, water. Water. Wood. Oh, like wood. wood. Yeah, water. Water. I water. What are, I'll go home. Yeah. And I'll talk on the phone. Phone. Yeah, phone. Phone. And I'll get up and on the roof. The roof? Yeah, and then I'll get in the creek. Is that the creek? The creek? The creek. Yeah, I'm going to jump off the roof. Roof. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm going to jump off the roof. Roof. Onto the creek. Or into the creek, hold my water. What? what what's you Lager. Say? Into water. I'm jumping into water, hold my lager. What do you call spaghetti sauce? Gravy. Gravy. Macaroni and gravy. Macaroni and gravy. Pasta and spaghetti sauce, bro. Yeah, but wait, once you're down over there, did you ever see that one thing over there on one time when they're talking and they're like this? No, I didn't see any of that it's shit. One of my favorite things. I was, I'm the worst witness. I didn't see any of it. So, beer Google's this, my friend. No. Are you ready? No. So, at one point, <laughs> Pat's and Gino's are the two competing... Yes, they are. Uh, cheese adjacent cheesesteak places. Yeah. And Gino's... Has a sign that says, "Order." We only accept orders in English. It it was a whole national thing. Hearing him tell you how he wants you to order in English, not speaking English, fucking phenomenal. Because he's like, "Yeah, I think these guys got over it to do this with the things and speaking English. Just when they want a sandwich, when they want food, just they got over it, and they got this water in it." And you're like, "Listen, I'm like, dude, you don't speak fucking English. <laughs> it's the fucking greatest thing." I agree with him, but still, order when in Rome. Bro, back to when in Rome. That's full circle. For real, we're in Rome. We opened and closed almost an entire circle. Nah, e yes. Huh. I don't like that. That doesn't make me feel very... That feels makes me feel too but See, that's very... I think that that's... I mean, that's the way I look at it with anything, especially with travel. I mean, yeah. I'm like that. You know, wherever I go, I want to try the local beer. I want to try the local... Oh, hey, this place, we're in wherever. Mm -hmm. It's... I, I want to... It's known for this fish. It's yeah. known for this beer. It's known for this drink. It's known for this whatever. And I give you super credit because you'll even do it with mushrooms, fucker. I would. If, if, if I was somewhere and they were known for a, a fucking fungus, they're like, hey, we're known for the la la la. I would like, I would try it. The, the only one would be Colorado and psilocybin, my friend. So, <laughs> so sorry. I've I mean, never I, done it. I'm just really ultimately curious about it. In, uh, but regardless. In uh, 99, I was in New York for the first time. First time I was ever in New York City. And I ordered a Monte Cristo sandwich. And okay. I assumed it was going to be like the ones I've always ordered from Bennigan's. Okay. Which is a deep fried ham and turkey and cheese sandwich on wheat bread. Oh, like a, like a cordon bleu? No, like we... a ham and turkey cheese sandwich oh, okay. on wheat bread. Yeah. But deep fried. Oh, fuck yes. That's what Bennigan's... Which is gone now. I don't... Not the count of. I think there's still one around. No? Sure. They're all gone? They're so, definitely not in Arizona. We know that. Those two fucking places. So we're at this little diner. <laughs> and... So you're expecting... We used to drive down from Prescott to go to Bennigan's. Oh, yeah. Because Fuck Prescott sucked. And Hooters. Well... We did Hooters a lot because we were fucking college. No, we did Bennigan's and Hooters. We I don't both. remember going to Hooters in, from, in college, but... Oh, bro, we always bro. got off at Bell Road. The Bell Road went off I-17 over there. Uh, I don't think it was open when I was still in school. Okay. Because I, I would have went... Bro, I'm not dying on that hill. I love you, man. There's a lot of hills, bro. Is. So, we used to drive down just to go to Bennigan's because yeah. there was there, we were bored. Uh, welcome to Prescott, everybody. Prescott back was terrible 90s. back then. Ooh. So, um, anyway, I was in New York, and I'm like, oh, I'll just order a Monte Cristo sandwich. They brought it out, and I was like, what the fuck is this? So, what was it? It was ham and cheese and turkey. Unfried? Wait for it. Two pieces of French toast. French toast? Fucking French toast. It like was egg batter, 
fucking two full pieces of these huge pieces of French toast. Fuck yes. Like massive. And then yeah. it was cut in half. And I they were beautiful French pieces of French toast. But I'm like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? That's not what the fuck? Your first mistake was taking a chain. Okay. Take yeah. That because what I knew was fucking Bennigan's. I'm this, I'll have the Ben cheesesteak. I mean, Are you this, fucking kidding me, sir? I'm this kid from L.A., <laughs> been in Arizona 10 years. So I was, whatever, I was 30 at the time, something something like that. <laughs> right? And I'm in New York City on 72nd Street, whatever the fuck. Oh, Work's paying for dinner, right? Yeah, fuck yes, I'm on my work are. account. Amen. And um, the, guy, the guy at the counter, I'm at a diner, I'm at the counter, and the guy goes... Was there an old man sitting next to you making no, it was with, tonic and uh, gin? <laughs> Sorry. yes how did you know he was the kind of guy that would drink a gin and tonic by the way so nice the microphone smell like beer um nope good we anyway my point to this fucking story dude is the don't dude, trust bennigan's no the dude yeah don't trust bennigan's because they're fucking close the the Excuse me. The guy working there at the counter, the nice New York guy. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. He did says you a shot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how many how quickly did you have to not tell me twice? Go ahead, sir. Continue. He says as I'm looking at my French toast sandwich. It was like ten o'clock at night. So it wasn't like a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> it sounds like moves over my hammy and it was not a Denny's. This is not a Denny's place. I'm yeah, assuming. no, this was like a this was like a New York High diner. Cl- this yeah, was like, like a one off. Yeah, we just wandered in there. It was ten o'clock at night. We were hungry. Mm-hmm. We probably had had a couple beers somewhere. I don't remember. I mean, I wasn't drunk because I remember it. Right. So the guy says to me, "He's he's quietly pouring shot number Your talents are just vast and numerous. All right. Well, now that now that you just pulled that out, I'm going to go on another tangent because I'm well, going to play I a little ping pong. Do you just sit around and practice this shit? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. I do. Um, I may have a girlfriend, but I have no life. <laughs> you may have a girlfriend well when she, she allows may it. have already left when she, when she allows it okay oh, dear god anyway this fucking guy <laughs> at the fucking diner says to me do you want syrup and you're like what is this roscoe's chicken and fucking waffles and honestly? i go i go do most people get syrup yeah and he goes yeah I, no and, I go, and I go, okay, yeah, fuck yeah. And I turned to the lady I was with, and I go, fuck it, went in Rome. Went in Rome, bitches. And I fucking put syrup, and I was like, it was so fucking good, dude. I bet. That fucking sandwich. And I'm like, ham, cheese, turkey with French toast with syrup? Yeah. It was fucking phenomenal. Sweet and salty, bro. Dude. Think about it. Fuck. Salty I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> And that is New York City story time, sir. I love New York City story fuck, time. Was, I believe in Rome. When I, I, would when go, I, I would go to New York City, dude, right now you know, just to get a fucking Monte Cristo sandwich. When I went to Rome. If it wasn't on fucking lockdown. Well, it was pretty cool. I went to Vatican City and I was like, went to Rome. So I fucking did old boys. It was oh, pretty fucking cool. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> you got off the hook. No. You well, first off- they got on it. But bigger, I, I got a promotion. It's pretty what? fucking cool. You're yeah. a cardinal now? I'm like cardinal. Cardinal check. Well, I'm more like, what's another animal? It's like a card, like a blue jay. I'm like a blue jay. Okay. More like a crow? Caca? Caca. Caca. Yeah, but that's what I, when I went in Rome, right? Like when I was in Boston, same thing. Like, oh, yeah. Preacher boys or choir boys. Oh, yeah. Totally. Off of, open that shit up. Oh, it's disgusting. But I'm in Rome. Let's, Let's not talk I'm about molestation anymore. That's a $15. Fine. We can have that conversation we'll never, yeah, possibly we'll later when I get some information on that. That was very, that was a joke, everyone. Yeah, also, just to be clear, it was me. really, yeah, it is disturbing. No, do you want to talk about that sometime? Do you want to talk about that whole thing or does that make it, because I can't even listen, I've even shared this with you, I can't even listen to Michael Jackson music anymore. You did I share that Jackson with me. 5, but I can't right. listen to Michael Jackson anymore. Um, yeah, I don't mind telling 
Tyson's story because he's gone. May he rest yeah. in peace. Can we do that someday? I would. Yeah. Okay. And um, everyone, stay tuned because that's. It's sad. It just hits home. It, it yeah, hits home. It, and you it hear, really does. You hear about a national scandal, and you're like, that's horse shit. These people are just money grabbing and whatever. Like, even with the Jackson kids, like, the fucking parents still let the fucking kids sleep with them. Isn't that bad fucking enough? But whatever, you know. Yeah. Anyway. But when you're. This one's when a personal somebody story. Somebody knocks with, on yeah. your door, and yeah. you're deposed by the Catholic Church to testify. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Um, Because. Cause, one of your best friends you've known for 30 plus years was molested. Yeah. It's a real story. And now he's gone. That's fucked up. And it's, you know, he was fucking, he was fucking tra obviously traumatized. I mean, you're talking, he, he had PTSD from it uh, for, for his entire life. So that's what he, he drank bourbon. He got me started on bourbon when I visited him in Alabama and when he was stationed there in the air force. Oh, we know Alabama. that. Alabama. Alabama. I tell you what, he got fucked up, and he wow, he his he got a little racist because he was stationed in the Middle East too long, Ooh. and he dropped some terminology which will not be uh, no, regurgitated no, sure. well, here. Well, let's let's honor the man. The man served his country. Oh, well. for twenty two years, a, he served you as a good friend. Oh, like, yeah, he's a good, he's a father. He's a husband. He's a good guy. Absolutely. He's overall he good was, guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I think when you see a lot of one thing. You assume. I mean, if I were a police officer, I'd be the probably a racist prick. I, I couldn't imagine. Ju just my everyone I see is X. Well, it's not true, but your brain compartmentalizes that way, and you're like, it's I it's human imagine. nature. It's unfortunate to develop but, that. However, yeah. so we'll talk about we'll talk about Tyson one yeah, day. Sure, I love that. That that should be that. Maybe that should be our next one. Okay, because that's an that's a good one, but not obviously here because this is more about fun. Fun stuff. Because we talk about diddling. What Not, up? Yeah. Go alcohol. Go team alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. Because we do love it. Okay. Yeah. So, we, so obviously had to mask some shit. Oh, yeah. He drank some fucking bourbon. But I'm going to read off what we looked up while, while this middle middle part was going on. You talked me into it. Story. Let's do ready? it. So I'm here, ready. Here's, here's the thing. Specifically sure. whiskey. Yes, sir. Let's go with whiskey. Whiskey is the drink of the confident person. Do you agree with that? No. Why not? Um, I think scotch is the confident. I think whiskey is people who like whiskey. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think you. I don't think you initially order a whiskey because you're confident. Okay. I think you confidently order a whiskey because you like fucking whiskey. Like, okay. so that I can see them correlated. Like, hey, you confidently order it, so you're confident. I could, so I could see it that way. But I don't think confident people. Okay. I because I, I don't. I'm not saying you're not confident. I understand. But you're much more humble than you are. Confident. You're just stating your opinion. It's yes. fine. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, I think that I am confident, but I also agree with you that I just like whiskey. <laughs> I think it's very simple, you know, what yes. you said. So regaling people with stories about your life is your favorite pastime, and you don't believe in being just happy high. What do you feel about that statement? No, I would prefer to exchange stories. That I would prefer to listen than to talk. And Yeah, I, I agree. You personality wise, absolutely. What does happy high mean? I think uh, I think it's deeper. I think you just go right into drunk. You don't get like, hey, hey it's not like a light. That's not true. Okay, well maybe I, I mean I haven't been drunk in a long time. Don't believe in being happy. I don't know what happy high is anyway because I high I don't associate with drinking. So, but however, when you're downing the seventh drink, just remember there's a fine line between confidence and overconfidence, and driving that car is definitely not the right idea. No shit. Well, that's a stupid fucking Who statement. Who the fuck wrote that? Yeah, what the fuck am I even opening this for? <laughs> yeah, hello, let's just read hey, the first... Hey, jerk off. Don't read the... Where the fuck wrote just, that shit? Just read the first sentence. Okay. Scotch. Well, this is where it's untrue also, because I have to read the whole thing, because I just read the whole thing. Oh, but you are a, more of a slow drinker. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. One who enjoys the finer aspects of life. Your accompaniments will never be plain shakna. What's that mean? I don't know. Okay. Your drink will never be directly from the bottle, except for Ian and Locker. Uh, the horror. And you're perfectly happy in just stating one single quote of wisdom, then speak the entire night. That is a horse shit for me. I just talk all night. <laughs> but I think when I'm in scotch mode, though, when yeah. I drink scotch, when I drink, I think I'm more chill. 
Because, like, usually you and I have a scotch. I'll have a scotch when we're smoking cigars. Yeah, right. So it's a different it's vibe. relaxed. I don't drink it all the time. I don't yeah. drink it, like, I don't order it drinks. I drink, what, drink one, one drink a month, two drinks a month? Seriously, I don't mm-hmm. drink much. Um, even when people call you pretentious for knowing the difference between whiskey and scotch, you silently sip your drink and let your looks do the talking. Nah, I'd be like, bro, you bro. should fucking know the difference. But that goes back that to our you. curiosity. So, so, so half of that's correct. Half of that's right. Yeah. The top part. Slow drinker, finer aspects of life, absolutely. I will spend 10 times on a bottle of, on a bottle of drink of some bottle of some sort because I drink it one one hundredth the amount that you do. Mm-hmm. So I don't mind that. I'll Instead of buying it all one, I'll just buy a bottle of really good stuff and very much savor it for years. Mm-hmm. So, but that's me. Fantastic. Anyway. Um, so any, what happened? Is there a follow up to the French toast, ham, cheese, Absolutely and turkey? Not. When in Rome. No, this, the point Rome. is when in Rome, like if you're in New York city and they say, do you want syrup? Oh, just say yes. You, and, and I asked, do most people get syrup? And he says, yes. Then I say, get syrup. Yes, man. Yeah. You, totally you, yes, you man. do when, hello, Twitter world. Hello. Do you think that Monte Cristo sandwiches should be French toast? Ham, cheese, turkey, and more French toast with syrup. Yes. Reach out loud, Twitter world. Uh, that's the way. I, that's oh, the way so my mentality is. Whenever I travel, yeah. like, so I got buddies who are like, "Hey, dude, let's go to Scotland and Ireland to play golf." I'm like, "Dude, the food there, no." Because I'm all about. I want to eat when I. Tra- Hello. I'm all. I want to eat when I travel, and to me, I don't. You that haggis. I'm not. I would try haggis. Yeah. Right, but, you but that's try it. not what I want to eat for ten days. Don't they have like fish and chips and shit? I mean, they're fucking yeah, I don't Britain eat for God's deep sakes. Fried food. I uh, want to go to France. Oh, uh, you and, want like and yeah, Italy, you, and yeah. Austria. But and when in Ireland, so you yeah, actually I would, choose. I would totally try it. So you choose destinations based on what you'd like to try. Absolutely. Yet, if you're in a place, you'll take what the local Absolutely. people. Yes, yes. Like if work okay, says, "Hey, you. dude, you got to go to the UK for blah 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 blah." I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say no. Well, I am because my passport expired, but... <gasps> the blasphemy. I sent it in for renewal. Calm the fuck down. Do I look... Concerned? Yeah. Not at all. I know you were worried How about for now? Me. Y- no, not at all. Am I giving you the signal? Yeah, that's exactly what the State <laughs> Department uh, gave me. America! Fuck yeah! So, cool. so uh, yeah, I'm yeah. a big fan of, of the locality of the drink and yeah. of the of the food. Like, you know, hey, this is known for blah blah blah. Like, hey, what's the special today? Grilled blah blah, blah with a with a braised blah, blah. Yeah, do that. All right. Well, I, I went to Belize in March. I was yeah. blessed to be to I don't know, won a trip or whatever the whatever the word is. I feel blessed and I'm grateful. It was an amazing, amazing experience. They had conch. And I never really ate conch. I never ate much of conch. Okay. But uh, they're like they had a conch and shrimp ceviche, and I'm mm-hmm. like, fuck yes. Was it good? No. Did did the- conch is like chewy and it's, disgusting, it's too rigid. But I'll tell you, I fucking when when they ordered it again, something else with conch. Now I'm like, yes, because maybe the flavor, maybe there's a flavor in it that's added to the overall taste. I might not eat the actual thing, but yeah, it was it was a shitty experience when I ate. I was like, ew. But I was so happy I did. I mean, it's too I rubbery. Yeah, it's a little rubbery, a little chewy. It's just not, you know, shrimp has just like a nice bite and then it's soft, yeah, like buttery right. almost. Yeah. But ceviche. Oh, their ceviche is fucking bonkers. But anyway, so yeah, that was one. Or mussels. Or, I don't always like like clam, like oysters. I'm not mm-hmm. a big oyster fan because of the texture and whatever. But if someone has them and they're like a delicacy at some restaurant, even, yeah. it's almost a when in Rome. Like, yeah. if that's your specialty. Yeah. I, I'm not going to fucking Steak 44 to order fucking uh, a chicken. Yes. I'm just not fucking going there for uh, that. No shit. If I go to the Ocean Club, I'm not ordering anything that goes on land. I'm yeah. just not. You don't go to Steak 44 and not order steak. Right. Except the pork chop is the, fucking... Well, the pork chop makes sense. Holy shit, that, dude. But that's a pork chop steak, bro. That's Fuck. pork steak. Yeah. I, we, we, we're going. <laughs> that's all there is to it, man. Well, I'm fucking going. Tomahawk. Yeah, but we got we're, we got a date for oceans, right? I'm excited. Forty four yes. at some point. Yeah, uh, September, I believe. Sure. The quadruple birthday celebration. Whatever of the four it takes. of us. What's that green box over there? It doesn't say anything. You read it. What? What is? Would you read hold the green let, box to me? Read the green oh, fucking box. Is your ass jealous of the amount of shit 
that just came out of your mouth? What the what the fuck? What the fuck? I is have that? to click on that. <laughs> just, That's the definition. Oh, that is clickbait. That's that, clickbait. That is the. Is your ass jealous of the amount of shit that just came out of your mouth? Oh. That's 19. an episode. Stop. Okay, we're not going to say it out loud? No. Okay. That is, that's happening, right? We're going to save it for now. I'm just going to scroll so you can read them as they go. No, oh gonna... my God. <sighs> that story is the best. Do you remember that story? No. At the DAC? No. About the Q? No. Bro, is the blonde chick. That narrows it down. With XD. She was a moron. That narrows I it down I interviewed again. with her. Who? With, with the other guy. With the, with the guy with the three letters. With the wife. With the same letter, first letter of the alphabet twice. I think I know who you're talking about. And you do. And this woman was on. And she said, what's a Q? Weren't you in a, some conference call with that? Oh, bro. Did I just PTSD you? Bro, you got to get in camera. Get in frame. Get in frame, bro. Don't okay. Show your anger. Show your angst. Do you remember this? Yes. Okay. So we yes. were clicking on this. What was the ass thing about your as your ass jealous of the shit coming out of your this mouth? Is that right? Just came out of well, your mouth. Here's one. You're you're as useless as the U E U E in Q. Spelled Q U E U E. And that Christopher, do you want to give us a little backstory about our call center uh, history? No. Okay. No, not, not, Are not, you done? not at all. Are we done? Okay. Can we just move on? We'll, we'll no, do this we're going to save this. Can fucking... we save this one for later? Yeah. Cool, because we're getting, we're coming up on it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I really hope one of my favorites is, uh, I hope that the next one down is talking to you is like clapping with one hand. It's not on there, but I, it should be. How about, uh, how about like talking to you is like masturbating with a cheese grater? Oh, that's not okay. Slightly amusing, but mostly painful <laughs> <laughs> they mostly come out at night thank you andrew dice clay of, of, of the adventures of ford fairlane i want oh, i can't believe that we closed on that because that's what i wanted to do they mostly come out at night mostly mostly newt newt baby where are you newt and on that note what's funny is we we went into this one without any fucking thing this is the best one we did today no, no, mm. hands down and up, up, down, up, down. Um, but no. Well, are 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 we good? Yeah, we're, I'm just looking at your f reading. Stop reading, bro. Okay, bro, we're gonna do this one next. Look, it's up. It's it's queued up for us. <laughs> 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 well, sir, Dick once face. again, look, today was awesome. Just so you guys know, we recorded. Two beer googles and one not conscious podcast, all with my friend Christopher. Matt, do you trust me to say? Do you trust me to say stuff about you? No, on, that they'll be recorded. No, go ahead, Dick. Christopher might start be looking for love. At start some point. might be. I have to say it that way. It's allegedly, potentially, possibly. Uh, what's that called? Potentially, yes, looking for love. Nook and Penub Nook and Penub the dawn paces Nook and Penub Unts Ties Feet times a mayday <laughs> We are fucked up But so, we'd say Ote Ote But we'd say Ote um, Christopher is possibly starting to look for love again So he's open to, to possibly coming across If any love Are you using this as a Dating. Hello, Twitter world. God, if you find Christopher God. attractive and you think he's funny, which, by the way, he is, take it from a man who killed his wife and another dude. <laughs> another dude. What? I forgot you're still it being didn't, OJ. It didn't fit, bro. You must have quit. It didn't fit. Hello, Twitter um, world. Hello, Twitter world. God. If you think that Christopher Peralta is worth dating, then just reach out to beergoogles.com. That's double O double J. We also have uh, info. It's funny how you went from OJ more. to like a Southern Belle. Double O, double J. I do declare. I do declare. Uh, you bless your heart. Oh, boy. I'm just. I'm just flimmed. <laughs> with all this talk about OJ. You know he didn't. You, you, know, know. you know he done went and killed those people. <laughs> My favorite is when I get an expert's opinion on the, the tiger thing. 
when he goes, hello to the world, that woman killed somebody. No shit, the fucking expert has spoken. And on that note, sir. <laughs> thank God I haven't watched that show. Thank you so much. Don't. I'm not. Do not. I have Shawshanked it. Do not watch it. No shit. Oh, we're going to have to talk about the Shawshank effect. We never talked about okay, that. Okay, Shawshank. That's a story on its own. Episode nine. But I think this one that's over my shoulder. Because I think it'd be fun just to read them off. And okay, talk, you talk me into it. And then do different voices. Like, check Mark says, you're, you, you're, as, you're as useful as, as you, 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 you. Do you understand my check English? Mark, very good speller. I slam down on your, your American accent. I hate it. We do backwards R. Only in the mirror, bro. Whoa. Well, thank you so much for joining us all days today. I don't know how we still have voices, sir, but we did it. We did it. Congratulations. To you. Us. All of us. All of us. You, me, All of the us's. I think I picked the wrong one, but I'm going to try it. Whoa. I think we got right. Check you out. We're going to surf. Just leave it running, bro. Just leave it running, bro. Surf the turf. Surf the turf. I don't say that. That's www.beardgoogles.com. That's double O double G. Actually, double E double O double G. (laughs) Why don't we have the E's in there? I don't. Double E double O double G. BeerGoogles.com. Get on that shit, bro. Bro. We're about to make it happen.